Hey guys, we are back and finally done with our do-it-yourself palette greenhouse build. What, what? We are so excited to show y'all what it looks like. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video to see it in all its glory. When we started the greenhouse build, we had the intentions of it being a lot faster than what it has been. Uh, we, you know, as you all know, we do projects as cheap as we possibly can because we're broke. <laughs> <laughs> but really, though, we are a family of five living on a income of $35,000 a year. So the cost of that build would have set us back tremendously. We left off last with a fully framed greenhouse, one shelf, and the Kool-Aid man. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> let's get started there. We searched for the right roofing for a while in hopes of finding a cheaper and more durable product that would be able to withstand our crazy Arkansas weather. Yeah, lots of uh, tornadoes and such. Hail and rain. Hail whales. <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't find anything cheaper than the panels that we got. But luckily, we only needed a few of them to, to get the job done. The next thing was windows. To the window, to the wall, to the greenhouse build for us all. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we kind of looked all over the web and asked friends. And we even jumped in the car and took trips to flea markets and um, like the little secondhand furniture stores and stuff in search for all the windows that we thought we were going to need. And it took a while, but we finally got a bunch of windows. Uh, thank you to all of you who helped us get those. We very much appreciate yes. it. Yes. Um, and me being a Tetris player, I was able to take those windows and place them in just the right spots on the greenhouse to make sure that they all fit properly. But the hardest part was um, trying to cover the peaks because they're triangular and the door because, let's face it, we do a lot of things all, you know, funky and stuff around here and <laughs> um, our door ended up measuring larger than a regular door so we were going to put like a sliding glass door or just like a glass um storm door right. on it and we didn't think ahead when we were <laughs> <laughs> putting it all together so we had to build our own door and so we kind of pieced it together and honestly i think it looks pretty cool it looks pretty cool uh, and then the peaks, we got really lucky. Our neighbor down the road happened to have some unused plexiglass, yeah, the plexiglass. and it came in handy. It was really tricky <laughs> making sure that it didn't like split or bust. Yeah, cutting it was, was the difficult part. And then screwing it on, yeah. Right. So yeah. Um, it was tricky to work with, but it covered all the triangular spots that we didn't have windows for. So that was cool. Right. During the build, we ran out of screws. So I ran to grab some more from the hardware store. And, you know, uh, in a hurry, in a rush, I grabbed, yes, the wrong screws. But we usually use Starbit, and I grabbed a Phillips head. And, and I'm impatient. Phillips screws <laughs> do not work around here. We always bust bits and yeah, we broke tear up the heads of the screws and strip them out. And then there's me and my issues. <laughs> we got most of the windows put on and then I realized uh, how the hell are we going to fit this big shelf in here through this door when the door is like three feet wide and the structure itself is six feet deep and 12 feet long or wide, I guess. Yeah. Um, well, the shelf is damn near as long as the whole inside, and we have two of those shelves that we were going to put in, so that way we didn't have to cut them, because, I mean, they fit perfect. Uh, well, 
they wouldn't fit through the door. So the only way to get them in after we mm. installed half of the windows was to put them in through the top right side of the greenhouse and feed them through the back left bottom side and then pull them back in and get them put into place. So there was only it's definitely a few, interesting. Yeah, there was only a few windows that had to be removed to do the job. But we got it. We got it. <laughs> the shelves are in there. Yeah. And I mean honestly we weren't even going to be using those shelves. Right, yeah, we were gonna do the wooden shelves. And uh then we turned out to get the metal oh, metal shelving. Yeah. But we got them uh, Somebody just donated them. them do donated to us, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the donuts were given to us too. <laughs> just kidding. What if y'all got donuts? I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> now it was time to fill in the cracks. So we got some uh, expando foam and silicone and, you know, used the expando foam for the bigger cracks and the silicone for the smaller cracks and closed up everything to get it airtight and make it usable. Uh, fly. Uh, yeah, but my advice, do not <laughs> touch the expando foam. Do um, I was warned not to touch it, but then I was like, It'll be okay. and then I touched it and then I couldn't get the sticky off my hands even after, even, <laughs> who says that? <laughs> even after I washed and washed my hands, the sticky was still there. So then I decided to get some rubber gloves because I was like, all right, well, if it's going to be that sticky on my hands, I'm going to wear gloves. And I was trying to help push it into the cracks because, you know, my dumbass thought that's what you're supposed to do. But no, that's not. And then the gloves got stuck to my hands, you know, because it's on my hands and now my hands are in these gloves. So don't touch the foam, okay? <laughs> Just don't. Don't do it. <laughs> to the cost of everything. So I, being me, decided to go Google searching because I totally do that. Yeah. Um, and I found out that the average cost for a 6 by 12 foot window greenhouse is roughly $16,500. No way we could afford that. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, we're broke. Remember that part? Uh, yeah. Right, yeah. So we figured up how much it cost us to build this greenhouse. And it was roughly $200, y'all. The cost of that just blew me away. In order for us to make it as cheap as we did, we had to do some gathering, or as Ariel likes to call it, hoarding. <laughs> I mean, when you stop on the side of the road and say, hey babe, jump out real quick and get that uh, bungee, cord. bungee cord, and we're at a stoplight on a five lane <laughs> highway, I'm like... Uh, it was a good bungee cord, okay? You can't, we can't say no. We to bungee cords. We didn't need it. Well, I pick up things off the side of the road. I, uh, you know, I ha do lawn care for work for my job. And so I, I go to all kinds of people's houses. And uh, a lot of times they're just getting rid of stuff. Uh, I've Facebook Marketplace gives free stuff away all the time. 
uh, for wood and lumber. You can get anything out of uh, construction site dumpsters. Whatever they throw in there, you, it's fair game. You can have it all. Um, it's it's the type of diving where you don't need a suit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wouldn't call it dumpster diving. I guess, yeah, those are Is dumpsters. it dumpster jumping? It's a... Uh, dumpster digging? Lumber hunting. Oh. Is what that's called. Yeah, lumber hunting. That's kind of nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and actually, yeah, I do call it hoarding, but... That's because this guy picks up everything. Like, one time we had, like, seven TVs and only two bedrooms. So, there are some things that... They all worked. Jay may pick up that we don't need. But, for the most part, he's slowed down on all the junk stuff and picked up things that we've been needing around here. Yeah. Um, and, so far, everything has come in handy at some point or another. And that's why we always have like random things to make what we're trying to make like you know um using trampoline mesh as our shade cloth right. and doubling it and using it again as a bird net to keep uh animals out of the uh, that's what we're gonna use it. well we're gonna use it on that but i was talking about betty's enclosure oh when yeah. we used it yeah, yeah. We <laughs> so used we're gonna use that. it a third time y'all just hang on for that video <laughs> oh yeah sorry <laughs> no it's okay as a matter of fact this outdoor set that we are sitting on right now is one of my hoarding things it is and the things <laughs> that can be used are well worth it mm, right. all right so you heard about the cost you heard about how we did it so if you've made it to this point in our video thank you we very much it. uh Liking and subscribing helps to support our channel um, and it helps to get our goals met. We want to make it to a thousand subscribers soon, hopefully. It'd it be, be super cool. cool to make it by the beginning of 2021. We're just a little over halfway. So hit that subscribe button and make sure you give us a big thumbs up because it really helps us out, y'all. Peace, uh we have some of your support. <laughs> also, if you liked this DIY project, make sure you hit that bell so that you get notified when we upload more DIY projects like our upcoming barn build. It's gonna be big. Please, sir, may we have some of your support? <laughs> this guy, maybe I can get him to do it one more time. <laughs> Some of your support. All right, and now what you've all been waiting to the end of this video for drum roll, please. All right, y'all, it is finished. I have to take a little bit of tape off of windows and stuff from the paint job, but you guys deserve to get to see all of this work. It's crazy to think about how this turned out from what it started. Just a couple of pallets and a crazy idea. Had to give it a little bit of a homey touch. Here's that window I was telling you about. I'd be able to look out over the garden and just imagine the garden looks real pretty right now because, you know, it's fall and it looks sad and pitiful, but that's okay. Now we have this greenhouse and we have grow bags and we're gonna be able to grow all the things over the winter that we want to. Lots of light. We got some peanuts drying. And these little crates we found, you know, with Jay's gathering skills. More peanuts up here. And then this, this sign 
that he picked up a while ago. Just seemed like it fit perfect. And then we have solar lights around the inside so we can light it up at night. And then a little thermometer to tell us the temp in here. What do you think, Jara? If you paint a greenhouse blue, is it actually still a greenhouse? Yes. Okay. Because it's the name greenhouse. <laughs> All right, and then on the outside, we decided to give it a little pop of color. And we left these two front windows able to open to help filter air through, and then that back middle window too. And then, got your peak. And the same thing on this side. I still have a little bit of tape to pull off the windows and some window cleanup. But, there's our finished product, y'all. Take two. It's your turn now. You gotta like. Hit oh, me something. my bad. Right. Oh, there oh. she goes. Well, that's cool. Pause. Our pigs got out. That's, that's the end. Bye. Good time, Holly, y'all. Holla, holla. All right. That's enough. Uh. That's a wrap.